Most of the food we feed ourselves is pretty shitty, uh, both for our body and the environment. And we think we need a new approach where the good thing for the body and the planet actually tastes good and is more affordable. What happens when you apply modern science and big data to innovation in food? Let's see what Hampton Creek is up to. We're trying to figure out, you know, how can we build a food system that's actually going to work for everybody everywhere to feed 10 billion, 11 billion, 12 billion people that the world is going to be trying to support uh, not that too far in the future. And that means making it more efficient, making it more sustainable, uh, making it more humane. We're approaching that by surveying this world of, of plants to try to understand where are their plants that we're not using as food today, but could potentially help us greatly improve the food system. If you think about it, there are at least 400,000 extant plant species. Uh, each one of their proteomes is anywhere from about 45,000 proteins per proteome. So our search space, the lower bound, is about 18 billion different plant proteins. You know, we can't build 18 billion cakes or make 18 billion mayonnaise, so how do we go out and evaluate, you know, what proteins we should take a look at and whether they would have some function in our food application. What we came up with is kind of a, a combination of uh, data science, uh, high throughput biological screening, and uh, model system, food model system making. And the idea is that we want to sample from the plant universe, uh, work to uh, purify and isolate their proteins, run those proteins across a system of assays that we have that quantify their basic molecular and functional properties, function in, in, in relation to food. Then we plop those materials into a model system, see, see whether it bakes right or see whether it emulsifies right. What those models allow us to do is then to go back into the plant world and search for them, uh, proteins that we think can work in food, but search in a way that's very targeted and very intelligent. We have data scientists and uh, machine learning specialists. We have uh, biochemists and molecular biologists. We have our food scientists and our culinary staff. So all of us really kind of hail from these amazing restaurants, top of our fields. We've always cooked for 1% and now we're using our skills for 100% of the world. Kind of look at it, we're all chefs. Uh, Trevor and Ben right now are currently focused directly onto the Scramble project, where I've been working with Emulsion since I've been here. We're looking for things that are readily available. Uh, we're not trying to find the one plant on Earth. I mean, we are, but we just want to know what it does, so maybe we can plant more. But for right now, for all of our initial launches, it's things that you know really can, can drive sustainability within our food system. So what do you, what do you have set up here today? Um, so Trevor's going to actually make a little bit of French toast, and then we're going to scramble our plant. Scramble your brains, man. The idea with the scramble is that if you wanted it to just be a plate of delicious scrambled eggs, then it'll do that. It'll have better nutrition than a real chicken egg. But if you wanted to use that as an ingredient and make something else with it, whether it's baking or you know an egg wash or, or whatever you would make with an egg, it should have that functionality as well to add any kind of nutrition that we want to it. So we'll make it three fatty acids, nutrients if we'd like to, the protein content's higher, um, and zero cholesterol. It certainly has the texture. Okay. It definitely has the right feel, has the right texture. It, uh, it has the right moisture. That's delicious. That totally is French toast. A little bit of everything. I mean, with the cookies, you can either you can either come to us on, on that national level and say, hey, we are X company and we'd like to take the eggs out of our cookies. How do we do that? We would start working with you and our and our design product, and we can start eliminating maybe it's 25% of the eggs, maybe it's 50, maybe it's 100% of the eggs within those recipes, depending on what they're looking for functionality. Let's look at food that's made. What are their ingredients? What do those ingredients provide? can we find a healthier, tastier, more sustainable ingredient to replace that with? So. In a way where most people won't even know. We don't want pe most people to think I'm doing something because they care so much about the world. We want most people just to eat it because it tastes damn good, it's an affordable thing. Um, and that's how we think we actually change things. 